All right, Shalom, Makim, Zahai, Spirit, Wind, Judah, of the GMS Mississippi Camp, giving our honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakhak, I also want to give them my honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops, great millstone, rule well, peace and blessings, health and wellness to the house of David, the elect. And what I want to go into today is a topic entitled, you know, making Yahweh, Shai, your hope. All right, making Yahweh, Shai, your hope. And I have on this, uh, the screen, all right, the book of Sirach 34 and 14. Where it says, Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear, nor be afraid, for he is his hope. All right. And ultimately, Yahweh Shai, of course, he has to be your hope. All right. But he has to be your crutch, man. All right. You know, something that I've learned in this truth and one of the, that one of the challenges that comes along with being in this truth, especially over a, a, a prolonged period of time, is that, you know, we live in the flesh. Like, we, we, we're subject to these chains of darkness. And you know, you have stress, right? You have bitterness, you have bitterness, which comes from hope deferred, all right? Hope delayed, okay? And what happens is you resort to things that um, comfort you, man. Now, there's nothing wrong with uh, comfort food uh, in moderation. There's nothing wrong with, you know, if you drink liquor, you drink your liquor or your wine. All right, there's nothing wrong with dealing with your woman, all right, but a temptation that can occur, all right, doing this, um, doing this truth, doing this path that we're in, is that you you are overly consumed in fleshly comforts, all right, and your howashai gets choked out of it, man. He gets squeezed out of it, okay. So, you know, one of the things that we have to do is that we have to make sure that. This, you know, regardless of what we have going on, on on the side and despite our little vices that we have and our downtime that we partake in because we have to balance ourselves out. All right. We can't just be all in the spirit without, you know, giving the flesh uh, a spoonful or two. OK, but we can't replace your how shy I with fleshly comforts, man. All right. Your how shy has to be our crutch, man. All right. You going through it with your woman, well, your house side has to be a crutch, all right? You got a problem on a job, your house side has to be a crutch, all right? And it's a temptation, man, because it's just sick. It's easy to go in to the store and get some chips or or get some liquor, and there's nothing wrong with get some liquor, but that can't replace your house side. You can't overly indulge in it to the point where you squeeze out your house side, man. The thing that separates the one-third from the two-thirds, because we're all in America ultimately catching it, Right, is that our hope is your how side. It's not a record deal, it's not a, a sports contract, all right. It's not more sex or more money, all right. Which you know, if the Lord gives you more money, then don't be over righteous and not take it. Take the money as long as it doesn't compromise your integrity. You see, that's what it's all about. But we can't let um carnality or in fleshly comforts squeeze out your how side, all right, for the sake of coping. All right, with this captivity, man. And this truth can be bitter, man. So, you know, it's one thing to be mad at a particular thing, but it's another thing to be mad and you don't even know why you're mad. You're sad and you don't even know why you're sad. You're mad at yourself because of your imperfections, all right? But your your, your hope has to be in your house side. And it hurts to go a period of time and you've neglected wisdom. You've neglected Sophia. You've neglected to turn back to your, your power source. Because one thing the Most High does, one thing the Most High does, no matter what temptation he gives you, the truth is always there. The answer is right there. Whether it's inside your head, because the scriptures are inside your head, or it's just inside, your, inside the word, man. No matter what you go through, saying nature is the truth. To trick you out of the fact that you have a power source, man. That's like a guy that's half your size, right? But he know how to bark at you to the point where you get intimidated by that, and you believe you you buy his wolf ticket, but you forgot that you could you you could beat his ass. But he he gets inside your mind and tricks your mind, right? That's like somebody tricking you into forgetting that you got a damn sword on you, man. All right, we can't let your house side get squeezed out of our temples, man. All right, let me see if I can get that. All right, because the most I always creates a way to escape, and it's just a common scripture. 
excuse me, it's just a common scripture, but it's a very potent scripture. All right. First Corinthians 10 and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. All right. So, I mean, that's pretty much the point, brothers. All right. And, and sisters, the, the few sisters, sisters who are watching, man, you become a master at this thing. All right. When you start to apply the scriptures. To handle your problems because a lot of your temptations is really the most high testing you to see if you're going to resort back to the word or you're going to resort to carnality man <laughs> all right but more pussy more sex is not going to solve your problem more money is not going to solve your problem more liquor is not going to solve your problem because once you once you drink a lot of times you wake up with a hangover and then the happiness that you have when you're drinking it doesn't last all right when you eat sweets <laughs> Like a high resort to sweets. But now you got a, a tooth infection. All right? You deal with a woman, well, now that woman comes with her own problems, man. All right? So carnality never really fixes your problems, man. But there's spiritual, there's spiritual remedy. All right? There's spiritual, those, there's spiritual salve, there's those spiritual uh, bombs. All right? That's, that's what restores you and that's what builds your spirit up, man. All right? But, you know, like I said, you know, we have to rely on Yahweh Shai and not allow our own vices to, to squeeze out Yahweh Shai out of us, man. But with that, I hope you brothers and sisters were edified. Once again, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shema Shai, by Shema Kaku Dash, the Unasra Elder, Apostles and Elder Bishops of Great Millstone Ruel. Peace and blessed to the David the Elect. All right, and I also want to say this one thing, too, before I close it. You know, whatever you lack in the spirit, you can pray for it, man. All right, but with that, uh, with that, Shalom.